Oh man, here we go today, man. We got Oskino in the building. What's up, man? Man, how man. you doing, man? This is this is one that you know a lot of people in the tri-state been asking for an interview from you for a long time, and you know, I, I like I told you yesterday, I admire your YouTube. Um, I watch every time you upload. I watch your story is a one of one. So you know that's why I reached out to you. I hit Johnny Mac, um, yeah. and like I told you the other day, my family. Our families live on the same block in West Philly. So I was like, you know what? I got to reach out to this guy. Man. And you was living in Arlington, Texas. Yep. <laughs> and that's where I grew up. That's crazy, though. That's a crazy coincidence. Who the, who the fuck be in Arlington, Texas? Like, I, mean, I, I went to school there and everything. That's crazy. Yep. You went to Bowles Middle School. Bowles Middle School. And I was hyping shit. I loved it. That's crazy, man. I mean, but I had to leave and come back to the treacherous Philadelphia, man. Man, and you know, I think one day I seen you on 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 Forty Second, and I think you was winning a Corvette, and I was gonna stop you then. I was with my cousin, and I was like, "Nah, I'ma wait." And I just feel like now was the perfect time. You know, you're doing your thing, you know, yeah. you're drawing and, and and shit like that. So I just want to say, man, I appreciate what you're doing, and I I don't ever want you to stop, man, because you're touching so many people. That's what's up, man. Yo, y'all young niggas, y'all young niggas got your business together in Philly, you know. I've been in Philly for a long time. Before, like, when I was kids and everything, right? We didn't really know our business. Mm. I mean, it wasn't really platforms for us to learn business either, only by getting burnt by somebody. But y'all younger generations, a few of y'all, not, not a few of y'all, got your business <laughs> together, and it's impressive. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, real, I appreciate like, it. And then, you know, after this interview, I want to grow with you, too. Like, we spoke on the phone yesterday. It's a lot of bigger other platforms that need to hear your story. And I feel like you should be paid for it. So, you know, we'll talk about that another time. But um, yeah, you take popping, us, though. Listen, take, take, Johnny Mac was like, yo, my man popping. You know I mean? Because you know Johnny Mac, I got him his first 100,000 views on YouTube when he did my interview, right? He was like, yo, my man, your man pop, my man popping. I said, all right. I looked on your jaw. I said, yeah. Because I seen your joint before, but I just didn't know like what it was. You know what I mean? I just seen it because right. you, know, you always be posting something, coming past or something. You know what I mean? Right. But yeah, you're on popping, man. It's hard to get a couple million views on, uh, uh, I mean, followers on Instagram. Man, for sure, man. I appreciate it. So, so take us back to the beginning. You're from North Philly, right? Yeah, I was born, in, I was born and raised in North Philly until I was about 12. Okay, and you had what? You had two other siblings? No, I, I had well, I had two younger sisters that was like, you know, we got put in a foster home together. But I had a lot of older siblings. My dad had like fourteen kids. <laughs> I mean, but but they was the same. I had sisters the same age as my mom. You know what I mean? So like, you know I mean, but uh, yeah. I, and then I had a brother that's one year older than me that's got a different dad from me. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know I mean, but, but it was it was treacherous. It was hard times. This is back in the eighties, man. You know what I mean, hard times. I know you said growing up, you noticed the change in like your parents' behavior, like how they were going. Oh, yeah, well, you know what, what what happened was, you know, what I mean, I never went to kindergarten and none of that stuff, so I was guarded, just in the house, never came outside, nothing like that. So I didn't know nothing about drugs, I didn't know nothing about the hood, and nothing. So I just, you know what I mean, it's just like everything was foreign to me. But I just noticed that my parents, you know, what I mean, they just like start not paying attention to us, just start like, you know what I mean, staying in their room all the time, start. I mean, I had no idea what it was, you know, what I mean, until I probably was about eight, or so, you know what I mean. I just knew something was wrong, you know what I mean? Food, you know what I mean? No TV, shit like that, you know what I mean? Then we got put in foster care, so you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Then, then you know, you start getting street smart real fast, you know what I mean? So I got street smart real fast, start understanding what was going on, you know what I mean? Right. And then one day, you asked your mom, you, you mentioned something about pork. You was like- uh, My grandma. Yeah, I, asked, I said, yo, I, told, I, I was just making small talk with her, like saying, yo, grandma, you know my dad said I ain't supposed to eat pork. And she was like, is your fucking dad here? And I was like, no. So she gave me some food. I ate it. And then she was like, you seem like you like that pork to me. And I was like, that was pork. I didn't really give a fuck for real, for real. But I guess she got mad because I didn't respond when she said that. I was a little kid. I was probably like eight years old. And she's like, you know what? I ain't going to never feed you no more, Nick. And she never did. I mean, also, she, 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 never, she never did. I mean, she, she, never like, fed, she, she never fed you no more at, no, like, at all? No. I, no, I got a job. I, got, I started working at this place called Foodway. Like, I was a kid. It was like, we had this way outside to the open and you bag groceries. Then after that, I just go pump gas and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, she ain't all. No, she ain't. She, she, was real, she was real diabolical, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you feel like all oh, this was because of the, the, the pork situation? You no, no, like no. She... What it was is because I didn't know to this till I got grown. My dad, when, she, when my mom met my dad, he was like 20 years older than her. You know what I mean? So they didn't want her to mess with him. She did anyway. Then he got, got her hooked on drugs or whatever. Then she got pregnant with me. So imagine them dropping me off there. They're like, man, we well, don't fucking want him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Even though my brother was there already, they they wanted they wanted my brother. They just ain't want me. You know what I mean? So so, but I never knew all this growing up. I just knew they ain't fuck with me. I just ain't know why though. Cause I never seen my dad even see my grandmom. So I didn't even know they even knew each other. You know what I mean? 
So I never, even, I never even asked really. I just going with the flow. You know what I mean? It's crazy. You felt like your mom never really liked you for real. Yeah, I think I think she like because it's like it's like you having a baby by somebody your family and once you have a baby by the baby like a reminder I guess like a, you know what I mean of what you you fuck up or whatever you know what I mean then I like dislike him you know what I mean so you know what I mean so it, it definitely ain't never, never was no regular type situation like man, it ain't no you know what I mean it's, it's definitely not regular at all like you know what I mean we don't talk at all you don't know why I like, I mean it's just like you know what I mean so like I never I grew up without parents period you know what I mean neither one I was always locked up somewhere like you know what I mean like I went from Foster call, three foster homes to St. Mike's, St. Gabe's, Vision Quest, then Adult Prison 16, then shot, I mean, the whole street shit, all that, you know what I mean? And I started rapping. I, mean, I don't want to misquote you. You said, um, like, when um, they came to pick up the kids. What is yeah, that, well, that called again? It was, it was me, my little sisters, and my brother. We was playing. These white motherfuckers and, like, one gay boy came in there. We like, and they just started snatching us. We like, what the fuck? And when they snatched my brother, my grandma was like, no, not him. Just dumb. Wow. Man. And I'm like, so I didn't know what the fuck was going on for a while. Even even for when I got to the place, I didn't know what was going on. So, I mean, I, I ended up running away. About a couple months later, I ran away. You know what I mean? And when I ran away and shit, I came back to her house. And she, it was so crazy. The, the, the timing, when I ran away a, a, a month later, it took me two days to find her house because I was a little kid. I was nine. I didn't know how to fucking get there. I didn't know where it was at. I get there. First thing she said to me is, uh, your father stabbed my daughter. My dad had stabbed my mom. I didn't even know. I, you know, I wasn't the fault. I didn't know what, what happened. So my mom, so my mom was in the in the in the, in the crib with her leg on the uh, table on a chair with stitches and shit in it, She's telling me about you know him stabbing her, or whatever. I mean, I don't know what they what the fight was about. I don't, I have no idea. But when this, the conversation died down, they was like, "Oh, you got a role." <laughs> you got, how how old are you at the I was time? Nine. nine. Wow. I was nine. And the only reason I knew how old I was because I got the paperwork uh, uh, when all this shit happened. I mean, I was nine. I was about to turn 10 in uh, three months. Mm. I mean, so I was nine years old and, and like nine years and nine months. I mean, Why did they say your brother could stay, but you couldn't? Because they, they, cause they had my brother since he was a baby. He one year older than me, so they like they treated him different. I mean, we, and he older than me. So I, so I used to live in the neighborhood around there sometimes. I can't go in there. I mean, it was just, it was just, it was just like weird. But it, this is all I knew. So it was, it was like, it was regular to me. But when I started seeing how other people family treated them, I was like, yo, why am I shit so, you mean, so crazy like this? You know what I mean? But I, I mean, it was, it didn't bother me as much as it would if shit was good. My shit was always bad like that. So, you know what I mean? So, your mom stops, she stops cooking for food for you. She stops. My, mom, my mom wasn't even there. My grandma was doing all this. My mom was gone. She was getting high. She, you know, see, people that did drugs back in the day ain't like how people that do drugs now. They was gone. Talking about dirty, talking about stealing. So people now can function. I don't know what kind of drugs they're selling now, but back then, you're done. I mean, you don't care about nothing. You're just getting high. That's it all day. So my mom, I wanted to see her for months at a time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So she, I mean, so she wasn't even really in the picture too much. You know what I mean? Here and there. But she ain't really fucking, you know what I mean? It was, I see her on the streets. Like, I mean, I just see her like in the passing, but you know, it wasn't no like mother-son uh, shit. You know what I mean? Just like a person in the neighborhood. You know what I mean?